Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Victoria Friedman and I'm the Associate Dean for Graduate Programs here at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. I want to thank you for joining us today to recognize our students who have successfully completed all the educational requirements for the doctoral degree. At the annual commencement ceremony, the graduating students will receive their diplomas and their hoods. But the PhD convocation is different. It is an event that specifically recognizes and acknowledges the individual students and all their hard work, as well as the faculty mentors who have worked with them at the bench, taught them everything, advised them, and yes, push them to reach this milestone. Graduate training is a long and arduous road. After the initial coursework, the graduate students devote themselves full-time to research in the lab, working on a scientific problem that may at first appear intractable. Over the ensuing years, with the guidance of the mentor and the student's advisory committee, the student's research gradually yields new insights and new discoveries. These breakthroughs are then documented in the student's doctoral dissertation and in peer-reviewed scientific publications. The student then presents these scientific findings in a public seminar and defends their scientific worthiness in the thesis defense, thus qualifying them for the doctoral degree. And now a word to our dear students. The PhD is the highest degree that you can earn. It signifies that you've achieved mastery of a particular scientific field, that you can carry out research on significant scientific problems on your own, and that you can teach and lead others. We know what mighty effort it took to reach this point, and we say a heartfelt congratulations to you on your amazing achievements. And to our faculty mentors who have worked side by side with the students for four or five or more years, thank you for all you have done to nurture these budding scientists and get them ready to take on the challenging scientific questions facing us. And at no time in recent history has this important job been more apparent than now. And as they say, it always takes a village. So we also want to thank everyone involved in this PhD journey, including the devoted staff of our graduate office, the friends and partners and families of all our graduate students. You know what it took to get to this day, and we say thank you for all your support along the way. In the next few minutes, you will see and hear from our graduating students and their mentors and members of their lab as together we celebrate their accomplishments and the conferring of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. But for now, let's all say congratulations to our students on their achievement and on reaching the PhD. Let me thank Dr. Friedman, scientific mentors, and the entire graduate division for your work over the past extraordinary year and a half. Congratulations to all the students for successful completion of your theses and graduate training under challenging circumstances. There are many lessons that we've learned during the pandemic, but among the most important is the significance of your work in biomedical science. Science not only offers a deeper understanding of the natural world around us, but is essential to the health, stability, 
and vitality of our society and economy. You, as the next generation of scientists, in addition to your work, have the obligation to be an advocate for what you do, to be an educator to both the lay public and, importantly, governmental authorities. I also anticipate that some of you will be become part of that government leadership and policymakers. I believe that a more diversified elected workforce would serve the country well. It's essential that the, you bring the rigor of your work being formed by, but always asking questions of, your data to get to the truth. I don't want to lose sight of the fact that this is a celebration for you, your families, colleagues, scientific mentors, and the graduate division at Einstein. You now stand at the precipice of the next phase of your academic adventure. Having built a scientific foundation strengthened by relationships with colleagues and mentors, many that will endure for the rest of your lives. As you progress, mentors become colleagues and you have the opportunity to mentor those who follow. Remember to take the time to revel in your academic life. Immerse yourselves in scholarly pursuits and take the time to think broadly and ask questions that interest you, even if they're outside your main area of expertise. Congratulations on your momentous achievement. I leave you with a couple of thoughts, first by Max Planck, and then by his colleague, friend, and our namesake, Albert Einstein. It is not the possession of truth, but the success which attends the seeker after it, that enriches the seeker and brings happiness to him. And on the celebration of his 60th birthday, Einstein said of Max Planck, in the temple of science, are many mansions, and various indeed are they that dwell therein, and the motives that have led them thither. Many take to science out of a joyful sense of superior intellectual power. Science is their own special sport, to which they look for vivid experience and the satisfaction of ambition. Many others are found in the temple who have offered the products of their brains on this altar for purely utilitarian purposes. Were an angel of the Lord to come and drive all people belonging to these two categories out of the temple, the assemblage would certainly and seriously be depleted. But there would still be some men and women of both present and past times left inside. Our Planck is one of them, and that's why we love him. Be one of them. And again, congratulations. My dear graduating MSTP students, congratulations on successfully completing the MSTP. It has been a tremendous pleasure and a privilege to have each of you in the MSTP. You are all wonderful in your own special ways, and I have learned so much from all of you over the years. I remember your bright, enthusiastic faces on the first day of orientation and at Friday lunches. Sometimes you were even enthusiastic in the MSTP physiology course. I hope that the MSTP has provided each of you with the opportunity to build a foundation for your future careers. Your time in the MSTP has been a tumultuous one for our country. Hopefully the future is brighter, but the struggle for equality of opportunity for all Americans remains one of the major challenges for your generation. You will be the leaders of the next generation. I have little advice except to treat all people with dignity and respect, to find challenges and opportunities that you are passionate about, and to pursue them and do great things and help make the world a better place for everyone. I hope that in the coming years, you are able to navigate a pathway to a career that brings you as much joy and satisfaction as mine has brought to me. Good luck, and do not forget to write home occasionally and let me know how you are doing. I look forward to the privilege of hooding each of you at graduation. Congratulations and good luck. Baja, it's hard to believe that you joined my lab six and a half years ago. It's been a phenomenal journey one filled with a lot of learning, many challenges that we overcame together, chocolate and ice cream, an impossible outdoor hike, and of course, incredible successes. I'm so proud of your commitment to your pursuit of your PhD and of all that you have accomplished. I have no doubt that you will have continued success in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done for our lab and for improving the lives of children with cancer. Hey, Masha. Yay, congratulations. Um, job really well done. Here's to a bright future. 
Hi Dan, hi Jean. Thank you both for being my mentors during my PhD. I want to thank you, Jean, for helping us along the route and for Dan for all the guidance and persistence in having me as a first student. Thank you both and I'll never forget working with either of you. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and a huge thanks to my mentor Dave. Dave, thank you for being ceaselessly positive and supportive and for always encouraging me to think more boldly. You made lab a really fun place to do science and I'm so glad that I can continue to have you as a mentor moving forward in my scientific career. Congratulations, Liza. You are an exceptional scientist and an even better person. I was so fortunate to have you in my lab and I wish you nothing but the best going forward. You, you certainly deserve it. Dear Nelson, as everyone else, I'm also I also believe it's very unfair that we cannot do it in person, but let me just congratulate you on your uh, MD-PhD degree. You have done a fantastic job in our lab. You exceeded expectations, fantastic publications, fellowship, everything that you can wish for and what we could have wished for. And therefore, it was a really good experience. I can see a bright future for you and I wish the best uh, in your career and your life uh, in the coming years. Hi Gilbert, I want to congratulate you on the completion of your thesis and your graduation from Einstein. It's been a remarkable year for you and I am proud of everything that you have accomplished. Although it's only been a month since you moved to Boston to begin your postdoc, I already miss your sense of humor, your enthusiasm for science, and your dedication to excellence. I know that you will continue to make wonderful contributions to science and I wish you every success in your postdoctoral work. Hi Gilbert, I want to warmly congratulate you on obtaining your PhD. I'm extremely proud of your accomplishment at Einstein. Your work on macropinocytosis led to important new discoveries in a very hot area. You are a delight to have in the lab and we will miss your energy and your enthusiasm. I'm also proud that you're continuing your training as a postdoc in a top lab at Harvard Medical School. So I wish you all success in the future and I eagerly look forward to seeing where your research takes you. Congratulations. Hi Art, just wanted to send you this message. It's a little weird considering we were just talking last night about a presentation I'm giving two days from now on our lab's work, but uh, here we go. So just wanted to reflect and, and really thank you for your guidance and your mentorship and your patience over these past uh, nine years, I guess. And, you know, I really feel like I've, I've grown as a scientist in your lab and, and I know that this isn't a goodbye, more of a see you later, because if Michael's any indication, uh, I have a lot more lab meetings to attend in the future and uh, I'm looking forward to it, thanks. Hey, Sean, congratulations. You have shown yourself to be a true scholar of the chromatin field. I'm very impressed with the insights you gained during your PhD and the work you accomplished. I'm sure you're gonna have very many similar successes in the years ahead. And I really look forward to following your career and future contributions to science and medicine. I'm also very glad that you'll be in New York so that we'll be able to continue to see each other often and uh, to collaborate. Dear Elise, good morning and hello from the faraway Middle East. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there to celebrate with you in person, but these are the times that we live in. I'm so happy and proud to have reached this day with you. I remember fondly the years you spent in the lab, your enthusiasm, your excitement, how you drove the research forward and how you ended up having a very productive time in the laboratory. I wish you the best of luck going forward, both as an ophthalmologist in at Hopkins, as well as hopefully a researcher to be. Good luck and all the best. Congratulations, Andrea. I'm so excited that you're graduating today. I'm so proud of you and the scientists you have become and your fabulous thesis work. It has been a real pleasure to have you as a student. I look forward to your next accomplishments in the future. I wish you all the best. Keep in touch. Uh, congratulations, Sam. This is such an important milestone, and I'm really proud of what you have been able to achieve. Um, it's been an amazing journey and a wonderful experience to work with you in the lab for the last few years, and I can only envision a great success in the next stages of your career. I wait to hear about all your future accomplishments, which I'm sure they're going to be many. And please know that you'll always have a home in the lab and keep in touch and congratulations. Hey, Fernando. 
Thanks for being a great mentor to me over these past few years and for being an inspiration for me to pursue a career as a physician scientist. I really cannot thank you enough for all that you've done for me and I look forward to keeping in touch in the future. Dear Megan, I'm recording this message to congratulate you on this important milestone in your scientific career. I'm really happy for you and I couldn't be more proud of what you've accomplished all through your PhD. The fact that you successfully defended your thesis in the middle of COVID-19 just makes your accomplishment all the more impressive. I'm very excited to um, see what you're gonna do in the years to come and I'm sure you're going to do great things. Uh, congratulations again. Hi, I'm Megan. I'd like to give a big thanks to my mentor Kartik for a wonderful time here at Einstein. I feel so lucky to have you as a mentor. You have opened so many doors for me and have allowed me to express my creativity to the fullest, so thank you. To my lab mates, I'd like to also say thank you for all your support and for providing fun to the everyday mundane. And to my fellow graduates, I'd like to say congrats and good luck on your next chapter. Hi, Streamson and Leong. Uh, Thank you so much for all of your help and guidance over the years. You guys have helped me grow such a tremendous amount, not only as a scientist, but as a person. I've learned so many amazing skills and uh, life lessons from you guys. So uh, thank you again, and I can't wait to work again with you guys in the future. Take care. Reese, congratulations on completing your PhD and for driving a project that changes how we think about metabolism in the human gut and that is going to be the foundation for a lot of future work in our lab. In addition to being a creative, dedicated scientist, you are also always an incredibly kind and generous lab member and you are a major part of the reason why we have such a wonderful group of students in the lab right now and I owe you for that. I cannot wait to hear about the cool stuff you're doing in your new career in industry at XBiome. And you know, I may be contacting you to ask you for a job in a few years. And so, you know, remember the good times at Einstein. In all seriousness, best of luck to you and Yvette. And we miss you in the lab already. And we also miss all of the awesome beer and other microbial delights that you brewed up for us. Science is awesome. And you are going to do some spectacular things with it. So keep on making it work, okay? Dear Eric, congrats again for two extraordinary achievements, for completing your PhD at Einstein and for being matched with Mass General. You were an absolute pleasure to have in my lab. You were my first PhD student and I couldn't have asked for a better start into my in independent career. Now you're moving on and I know you will excel in everything you do. Is it as a resident, as a research scientist or as a husband and father? So all the best and take care. Congratulations, Eric. You have done a wonderful job in the time you've been here. I remember, like yesterday, when you came into my office and we talked about projects. I am so very glad you ended up working with Michael Bernay and I. Your papers are fantastic. It is wonderful that you have um, matched with Massachusetts General. You're going to do great. All the best to you and your family. Keep in touch. Voucher Hogenboom, Todd Rubin, as I sit here uh, essentially alone in the lab during this absolutely crazy time, uh, one of the things I often do is think back on the time when you, uh, one or both, were here uh, making really unbelievable progress in a quite uh, broad in scope and uh, important project that ultimately brought you to this point to this day and I just wanted to take a moment to express my great pride and pleasure in working with both of you I look forward to seeing uh, much more and being in touch so all the best uh, enjoy and reflect on your accomplishments which uh, really are uh, quite significant. Take care. Hi Yvette, it was wonderful having you as a member of my lab where you have made major contributions. Today is a great milestone for you. You're receiving the PhD degree that you worked so hard to achieve. I am very proud that you've reached this milestone. I hope that your time in the lab has provided you with a strong foundation for a fruitful and rewarding career. I hope your career brings you as much joy and satisfaction as mine has brought to me. Good luck and congratulations. 
and please write home occasionally to let me know how you're doing. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Dr. Virginia Folgado Marco, PhD. It's been such a pleasure to be your advisor these past few years. My only regret is being unable to hood you in person and celebrate at your graduation. You have taken your research far beyond what I could have envisaged. I'm sure you'll have the same success in whatever you do next. I wish you the very best of luck and we will always be happy to see you here. Congratulations once again. Congratulations, Hannah. I'm really proud of what you have accomplished. Not only your PhD, but also all you have done in our lab. Um, by bringing new, new ideas, by training uh, lab members, um, by publishing several important papers. I'm really, really proud of this, and, and I'm really excited by your future career. So I wish you the best at UC Berkeley. It's too bad that we cannot celebrate together, but there's no pandemic that will take away the joy of this great day for you, for my lab, for our department, and for Einstein. So thank you very much, and I wish you best of luck. Take care. Hi, everyone. Eight years ago when I interviewed for the MSTP program, I was amazed by the welcoming and relaxed environment that Miles Acabas and John Chan and the rest of the MSTP had curated. To the MSTP leadership, my friends, my family, thank you for supporting me through the highs and lows. Thankfully, there were more highs and only a few lows. I also want to thank the scientific and clinical faculty and my wonderful classmates who have helped me shape me into a budding physician scientist. Uh, I was also fortunate enough to find a wonderful scientific mentor, Rob Singer. Rob, thank you for supporting me as I grew in your lab and developed new skills. Your lab has really become a second family to me. And thank you for opening my eyes to the importance of quantitative methods and biomedical scientists. Thank you for being supportive and kind and allowing me to be involved in really all aspects of the scientific endeavor. Einstein of the Bronx will always have a warm place in my heart, and I'm happy to just only be a short BXM 10 bus ride away. And now it's our pleasure to introduce the 2021 PhD graduates. Lisa Baker, mentored by Dr. David Sharp. Miriam Ben Diane, mentored by Dr. Michael Pristowski. Vuta Hugenboom, mentored by Drs. Michael Lipton and Craig Branch. Andrea Lopez Arroyo, mentored by Everis Gavatiotis. Yvette Sosa, mentored by Dr. Miles Acabis. Albert Lowe, mentored by Dr. Wei Lu. Hannah Monday, mentored by Dr. Pablo Castillo. Megan Slough, mentored by Dr. Kartik Chandran. Virginia Folgado Marco, mentored by Dr. Nicholas Baker. Basia Galinsky, mentored by Drs. Daniel Weiser and Jean Ibert. Reese Hitchings, mentored by Dr. Labusha Kelly. Morgan Porch, mentored by Dr. Suzanne Zukin. Gilbert Salum, mentored by Drs. Jonathan Backer and Ann Bresnick. Jitayu Biswas, mentored by Dr. Robert Singer. Raven Daiku, mentored by Dr. Wei Lu. Samuel Dowling, mentored by Dr. Fernando Macien. Nelson Gill, mentored by Dr. Andras Fisser. 
Eric Hassenroll, mentored by Drs. Michael Bernay and Dr. William Jacobs. Sean Hilton, mentored by Dr. Arthur Skolci. Ruth Howe, mentored by Dr. Ulrich Steidel. Niloy Iqbal, mentored by Drs. Lian Zhu and Streamson Chua. Elise Mike, mentored by Dr. Chaim Putterman. Natalie Ramsey, mentored by Dr. Betsy Harold. Todd Rubin, mentored by Dr. Michael Lipton. Greetings and congratulations from the graduate office. We first got to know you through your graduate school applications. And then when you came for your interviews. We were excited to see you matriculate into the PhD and MD-PhD programs. And get you started with your courses. And made sure you received your stipends. We worked with you through your rotations and celebrated with you when you declared your thesis laboratories. And then happy to see your successful completion of the qualifying exam. We reminded you about your advisory committee meetings. And we're excited to see you submit and defend your doctoral thesis. We were thrilled to watch you find your career paths and send some of you off to the wars. It is our honor and privilege to celebrate with you. We are so proud of you. And we say to all the 2021 graduates, congratulations. congratulations.